I don't know where I'm gonna go with this video. I don't know how to start it. I don't know how to end it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just hope by the end of this video that you are motivated and inspired by my story. And I just wanna dedicate this video to my future daughter. I've been holding in this deep, dark secret about my past for a while now. It's just finally time to share my story with the world and give you guys the truth and the absolute real about Pretty Boy Fredo. When I was just three months old, I was given up by my mom and dad. My mom was a drug addict and my father was an illegal immigrant from Costa Rica. Immediately at such a young age, me and my siblings were placed into a group home. From there, we were split up, placed into foster care. I just bounced from home to home to home with no family, no direction, no... I had nothing. I had nobody to lean on. I didn't have a mom, I didn't have a dad. No one cared. No one cared about me, bro. Nobody gave a fuck. <laughs> Foster homes, they didn't give a fuck. They didn't care if I was dead or alive. I grew up just wondering why. Like, why me? <laughs> I grew up with the pain just wondering why me? Why did I have to go through this? Why should any kid ever have to go through this? It left me so hurt and so angered inside that how could you do this to a kid? Like, how could you bring a kid into this world and not love them? Like, how, how could you do this to any kid? I didn't understand it. I was angry. I was so angry as a kid. <laughs> because I told myself, if I ever had the chance, I would never do this to my own kid. I would never put my own kid through this pain. Sunday, I found out that I'm gonna be having a baby girl. And Ava, I just wanna tell you that I love you. And I promise that I will never put you through the same pain that I went through. I promise that I will always be there for you. <laughs> no matter what, I will always be there. You can always count on me. <laughs> I promise you. Because I don't want you to go through the same pain that I went through. <laughs> you will never go a day without worrying about is your mom or your dad going to be by your side. I promise you that I will love you and that I will care for you unconditionally. I will be the father that my father never once was to me. I promise you that we will create memories that will last a lifetime. I promise you that if you fall, I'll be right there to pick you up. I promise you, I won't miss your first steps. Every single milestone, every single time you fall, every single time you fail, I will be there. You can count on your daddy, I will be there. I kept this as a secret for so long because I didn't want my past to be a crutch or an excuse or have any type of effect on my future. People wonder why I'm so thankful, I'm so humble, I'm so grateful. It's because I wasn't made for this shit. I was meant to fail. I was built to fail, but I'm here. I am here and I'm thankful and I can finally say that I fucking made it. I had to work so hard for this shit. I had so many people tell me that I wasn't gonna be shit. I had so many people that tell me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I'm here and I'm thankful and I'm blessed and I'm humble and I'm grateful for it all. I just wanna take the time to let you guys learn from my experience. If you are going through that same pain, that same struggle that I went through, you can make it and you will make it, I promise you. No matter if you're in foster care, you're in a group home, you lost your mom, you lost your dad, your grandma, you will make it. All that pain and all that struggling and all that suffering is for a reason. So when you make it, you can scream that you made it. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, like, and explain this feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just all off of my chest now.
I'm done with that shit. It's all off of my chest now. I'm done. But that was so hard, but it just feels so much. It just feels so much better now. I never understood it, but it was all for a reason. So that one day when I got here, <laughs> so that one day when I finally got here, I can say that I made it. I made it through it all. <sighs> to my daughter once again, like, I can't wait till you're born, you know what I'm saying? Your daddy done went through it all for you. And I promise you, I'm gonna give you the world. I'm gonna give you the world. I can't wait to share my fucking love for you. And last but not least, I just wanna give a big thank you. Big thank you to my adoptive parents. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have never had this second opportunity at life. Out of all the kids in the world, literally millions of kids they could have picked from, it was that one little kid from the hood. <laughs> they just took a chance on. Bless me with a second chance, a second breath at life. Words can never express of how thankful I am for you guys. I just hope that now you can look at me and just feel very proud of me. Proud that you made that decision. I just wanna thank you. I owe my life to you. I love you. All the kids out there, I had to make this video so that you can see that you are not alone. There's other people that are going through that same pain, that same struggle. When I was a kid, I felt so alone. I, I, I had no one. I didn't have a mom. I didn't have a dad. I didn't have anything. I had no family. I had nobody to depend on, nobody to lean on. Now look at me. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got so much love from coming from so many different places. It's amazing. I found my family. I found the family that I've been searching for this whole time. You will find yours too. Just stay strong and believe in yourself. Most importantly, believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm done with this video. I didn't know how I was gonna do this. I didn't know if I was ever gonna do this. I hope you enjoyed the video. I want you guys to spread this video. Share it, share it with someone that is going through that pain and just need that, that little bit of motivation and inspiration just to help them out. It will mean a lot. Share this video and just spread it because I'm all about positive vibes. I've changed so much this past few months and just into a man. I've grown into a man. Now it's time to end this chapter on the right note. I only got one thing to say. And I'm gonna scream this from the top of my lungs. We made it! <laughs> we made it, <laughs> gang.